all those things that were part of a life that I can no longer do, gone away, and so that person is gone. I'm now this dependent person rather than this independent person. It doesn't make sense. I did not deserve this. To watch someone that you love be in pain, I'd have to say that's the worst. I've had some pretty lousy days. How long would it be before I'm back to normal? It's like trying to speak a language that you can't find the words. It's really frustrating. There is no more husband and wife. Now it's caregiver and stroke survivor. The stroke took away my husband. It's really a shock to the family, especially if the patient themselves was the primary caregiver of the husband who traditionally did all the bills, they were the breadwinner in the family, and all of a sudden the spouse is in a new role, never been in before. I was getting no sleep. I was trying to keep our company together. They told her that she needed therapy about three times a week, $175 a session. All the medical issues that they're facing, the financial issues that they're facing, the house, the car, their tuition, and food on the table. The humiliation, the failure, you know, all the stigma that, that's attached with that. There's been a shameful lack of education about stroke among the public, our political leaders, as well as our physicians and nurses. But now that there's effective treatment and has been for the last 10 years, we no longer can accept such um, backwards approach. Typically, if we can get the patient into the emergency room within the first three hours, then we can be as aggressive as possible in their treatment. We believe that with the right type of specific rehabilitation therapies, that these patients can continue to get better. You have to reach inside yourself and find that will to keep living as long as you're living. With God's help, I do everything that I used to do before. Everything. I would encourage him spiritually. And I tell him that you can make it. You're gonna make it. <laughs>